So, I'm going to pop these open and we can see what's inside the pair of these speakers. So, start by get these silly things out and then these out. as well because I've had the speaker open before so I know what I'm looking at in here yeah, quite literally it we've got disconnect these Right, so this speaker does not want to come off. But as you can see, there's not much to it. Standard Logitech speaker. Nothing else in there. Quite literally nothing else. Just one speaker and a shell. It's got a port on it as well. Just to help with the bass response. But it's quite literally hollow. It sounds at two. Go to the creative speaker. I just disconnect one of these. And you look inside this, you've got a whole load going on here. We've got a tweeter with its own separate connections. You've got your main speaker, which this oh, the speaker's the screws are dropping out. A few things I want to show you here. So that magnet that says Cambridge Soundworks. If anyone knows the speakers, that was a decent company back in the day. So versus Logitech. They wouldn't stand a chance speaker and speaker. So, let's have a look behind the phone. Okay, presto, you have some complex crossover in here. You know, it's not a, it's not a simple little speaker with nothing in it. It's like a full on complex, not even a play kick, depending on system in there. Get the light in there so you can actually see it. Yeah, here you go. So this is why I like using the creatives because it's actually thought out. There's money that's got into these speakers and development. Whereas the Logitechs are quite literally a plastic case with a speaker in it. So there's a lot more going on in here than you think. But the crossover, I've noticed. You won't get reading on your voltmeter for these speakers. Because on this, I could just plug them into there and it'll say eight ohms. With this, unless the speaker's on, you're not getting anything. It needs a current to switch that crossover on in order to turn your speakers on, which is why they're not as loud. Because it's actually using some of that current for this, which is not a big deal, as I said. But the clarity is so far much better. I've been using them now for about five, six months, and this system's over 10 years old. So if they were to kill it, they would have killed it a long time ago. But yeah, they're running at eight ohms, they're eight ohm speakers, so there's no problem. Yeah, that's the entire them speakers. Until next time.